Hey, what's up, day walkers and travelers of the night? Here we are with a unboxing, our first in-person unboxing of the Moon Knight Upper Deck trading cards from the MCU. I'm very excited about this, obviously. They all just came in today. I was at MegaCon and I wasn't feeling too well. I was getting overwhelmed by the place because I, that's how I am in crowds sometimes. And after I said hello to a few friends that I haven't seen in a while, I was like, okay, I did what I needed to do today. I think the cards are gonna be showing up soon. So I'm just gonna go home and rest for a little bit and then maybe the cards will be there. And then I came home and boom, the cards were delivered right before I got home. So I'm very excited. This is very cool. Obviously, um, you know, we've done two of these unboxings already, but we had Steel City, the people we order these from. Great store, please. I'll put a link down below. Go subscribe to them on the YouTube channel. Watch their live breaks. They're a lot of fun. And they were kind enough to break two boxes that we purchased and to do it live so that I could react to them and we could talk about them on the release of this set, which came out a couple days ago. So now that the boxes are here, we can open them ourselves. So we're gonna start with this, our box number three. And this is hopefully what we're trying to go after is a autograph from Oscar Isaac. So that's the main thing I'm trying to get is uh, an, an autograph from Oscar Isaac. The autographs are very hard to get in this set. Uh, I will be honest. I actually looked it up and saw the odds and they are, not in our favor. I think you would have to buy maybe like a full case, maybe two to almost guarantee, but I don't even know if that's a full guarantee. Uh, so we'll see, but there is a lot of types of autographs and some of them are in like 180 packs, some are in 1,800 packs. There's, they range from everywhere and there's different you know actors and people that were on the show that do autographs. So it's not just Oscar's uh, autograph that's out there, but that is the one we're hunting for. So for those wondering what I'm trying to get, I would love to do that. And this is a dual effort between me and my alter Blue. Blue is the one who kind of got me back into card collecting because he was collecting magic cards for a while. And, uh, and I was like, oh, that's kind of fun. And he would film himself opening boxes and not really talking too much, but just film himself opening boxes. And I, I was like, you know what? If, if they ever do a Moon Knight set, we got to get on that. And then lo and behold, they have a Moon Knight set. So here we are. So I'm going to have this box will be mine. And the next episode I record will open a box for blue. Uh, not that that really matters. It's all going to go in this room that is uh, behind us here. And you're going to, you know, and I'll put a picture there. That's our collection of Moon Knight stuff uh, that kind of, you know, blue and I add stuff to sometimes. But he's the main one who arranges stuff, dusts, cleans it all. And uh, and it's kind of his collection that he takes care of. So uh, So his box will have stuff in it that he might display. And maybe we'll have some stuff from this box that uh, we'll want to display as well. And speaking of the box, I really like the art on the box. It's very, very cool. And I love that you have Moon Knight up here and Moon Knight or Mr. Knight on the packs. Uh, that's really cool. I like that they did that. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, three stacks of five, which brings us to 15 packs. And we are going to start cracking into them. And I do have protectors over here uh, as well as top loaders. So if we get anything that's really rare that we got to protect, we're going to do it post haste. All right. So here we go. First pack. I am nervous and excited at the same time, but I wanted to record my reaction to these because obviously I'm going to probably flip out if we get something really good. So here we go. And I'm going to take my time with some of these cards. So, and I'm going to throw the packs on the floor. All right, good. So here we go. Conchu chose you as his avatar. Cool. We got Ethan. We live in a psychic world. Cool. Oh, there's a sand variant. And, uh, oh, I already see the, oh, I already saw it. I think I revealed it already. We got a level one acetate antiquities. Uh, this is really cool. I got one of these, uh, two of these actually already uh, in the other boxes. Blue had one in his box that Brett opened on Steel City. And then I had one from Steve's. Mine was a level one and Blue's was a level four, which is a lot more rare. But still, three boxes in a row and we got one of these in each box so far. That's pretty good. So I'm going to guess that maybe they're one a box, possibly. I don't know. I think there's, depends on which one you get. I think they're average around one in every 90 packs, though. So that's like uh, five boxes. <laughs> so the fact that we got them is great. Oh, and there we go. We got a Stephen Grant. Very cool. Uh, so cool. our main one, the one that needs to be protected, we're going to just go ahead and sleeve that. And sorry, I'm, I'm new at doing a lot of this. I was watching other YouTubers to kind of get an idea of how they do it. And so forgive me, those of you out there who collect cards and are like, you're doing it wrong. I probably am. So feel free to give me any tips or feedback down in the comments. Um, all right. So we got our antiquities. Cool. All right. 
So let me readjust myself. Perfect. Pack number two. Here we go. Sorry, I had to readjust, readjust the cameras and stuff. So pack number two. Okay. All right, we got Mr. Knight. I think these are called ensemble cards. These are like the first nine cards in the set focus on the characters. So I think at this point we might have got all of them by now, uh, now that we have that Steven, the Mr. Knight one. Oh, there's a shot of the, his mom. Okay. She looked happy here. This is obviously before everything goes gets really bad uh, for them. Uh, all right, we got our sand parallel of the balanced souls of the Duat. Now must claim your souls. And it looks like we got another hit behind it. So uh, let's check out the last two cards first. Oh, the head of Conchu. That was a card that we got in one of the other videos. So very cool. And oh, there's a great shot of Ethan with... Amit, uh, with the staff that he has. Who wants to heal the world? All right. So now let's check out our Travelers of the Night. Oh my goodness. That is cool. And that's a, a Hekka priest, I believe. That's where Layla is hiding behind the dead guard that the Hekka priest brought in that is protecting the Pharaoh of Ale or the, the you know, tomb of Alexander the Great. So yeah, Protect the Pharaoh is the name of the card. And that is a it's, uh, it says sand on it, but yeah, TN4. Cool. Oh, it's a sand. Oh, I see. So it actually is a sand parallel of that card, of the Traveler of the Night. Um, that's great, because I think that means these aren't numbered, but they're like 1 in 50, I think. I Because I, we pulled one in another box. So I'm already ruining this. They're not going to be uniform, but oh well. But at least it's protected now. So boom. And then I'll grab these, get those out of the way. Pack number three. And as I, you know get better at this we'll speed along but you know i'm kind of nerding out on some of these like just the plain cards too, the base set like there's just a lot in this i love the show like we do me blue uh we're big fans of the show so all right so we got a layla image there oh we got the uh dr harrow i like that oh and there's ethan as a sand parallel of the ensemble card Oh, and we got our blue card, Summon the Suit. So these are cool because there's two types of blue cards I've discovered. Uh, there's a sky blue and a midnight blue. So obviously this is sky blue, I believe. And they're number, numbered to 199. Um, so every card in the set, the base set, has a blue sky blue variant that are numbered 1 to 199. And uh, so boom, we got number 130 of 199. Very cool. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Look at these last two cards. And I love that they did behind the scenes shots also in the show uh, uh, for these cards. I love that they put that in there because I am very interested in the making of the show as well and what went into it. So, yeah, so another nice hit there. These are one a box. And from what I understand, if you hit one of these, the odds of you getting an autograph shrink, uh, I think, drastically because I think the way these um, are done is is that this is the big hit of the box, uh, is getting something like this. So there's only 199 of this card in Sky Blue available. Uh, but there is also Midnight Blue, so a darker blue shade, I think, and they only make 50 of those. Uh, so those are even more rare. All right. So, And I'm going to learn more about this. I'm sure I'm going to try to collab with a couple other YouTubers with some of the other boxes I have, and they'll know a lot more than I do. And I'm trying not to look up too much because I still want to kind of be still in the student realm when I do my collabs with those guys. So, uh, all right. So we got Patatet. We got Ethan. Awesome. Or Dr. Harrow. Oh, we got the Tomb of Conchu. Hey, a Chamber of the Gods. Sweet. We're doing pretty good. This is a good box so far. Uh, Conchu versus Amit and Conchu. They'll imprison me in stone. Uh, but that's really cool. So these Chambers of the God, unless it's a sand variant, which it is not, are inserts, but not super rare. I think these are like, you know, you could get one of these in every like three or four packs or five packs, something like that. So I'm not going to sleeve or contain that one right now, but I will put it in the pile of inserts. All right. So pack number five. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Tat a tet with the boys in the duat. We have Layla. Oh, that's great. It's a great shot of her. All right. Oh, a sand variant with Layla on it. 
perfect. Very nice. And uh, hey, a Traveler, another Traveler of the Night card. This one looks like a base one, though. There's no sand color around it, so a base one, which is cool. Uh, we may actually have a chance at getting all of the Travelers of the Night. If they're as common as they say they are, we might actually be able to get a whole set of them. And that would be cool, because I wasn't planning on getting an entire set of inserts, of any of the inserts, um, originally. But then once we've talked about it with Blue and stuff, he was like, dude, if, if we get a couple more boxes, we have a really good shot at it. E even if we don't complete a set of inserts, um, we can, the few that we're missing, we can buy online on eBay. So I was like, well, I'm sold. So we got a couple more boxes. All right, let's try to speed things up a little bit. Number six. Let's see what we got here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. <laughs> Uh, we have, oh, there you go. Perfect. The mirror. Looking in the mirror. That's great. Another behind the scenes shot, it looks like, of turning the night sky. And there's the actual shot in sand. That's cool. Hey, and we got a Fist of Vengeance in sand. So that is a Fist of Vengeance are the ones that I thought looked like hearts around them, but they're not hearts. <laughs> it's almost like you're inside the cowl with the hood coming over and the point coming down. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. You're, it's like you're seeing through uh, Moon Knight's POV. But two warriors, one body. That's a great one. Uh, that's a really great one. And yeah, sand variant. No, not, not numbered or anything like that, but still uh, pretty cool. And it's an insert with a, a parallel to it. So awesome. And this is where they meet Midnight Man. Uh, uh, tragically, the actor passed away. Rest in peace. Um, but he was playing a character that in the comics is known as Midnight Man. I think it was episode three of the show that he appeared in when um, Steven and Mark are getting like stabbed by all the spears. <laughs> it's a really good action sequence, actually, I feel. Um, so, all right, next pack. Oh, hey, meet my friend, Jake Lockley. Great card right there. Perfect. Conchu. And I have a, a comment I'll make about this, but I'll do it in my other episodes about his him looking really dapper there when when he was with Mark and Steven, he looked really decrepit. So yeah, he's got new blood, so he's got a new suit. So anyway, yeah, so there's another one. I'm looking at the reflection in the mirror. We have a sand parallel of this card with Layla. Very cool. Another Fist of Vengeance, that's a great one. That wasn't Steven. Oh, that's where they realized that uh, there, someone else is uh, was piloting the ship for a little bit. Um, Definitely know what that feels like. And take control for now. And then there's the Chamber of the Gods. So oh, perfect. Okay. We got pack number eight here. So let's go. Ethan or Dr. Harrow. Um, Chamber of the Gods. Oh, a sand variant of Conchu walking down the hallway. That's really cool. It's a great shot. Another Fist of Vengeance. Uh, oh, that's from the final battle. Avatar versus Avatar. That's a great one. Cool. And then Layla and Kanchu. Cool. All right. Moving along, moving along. Pack number nine. Pack number nine. I'm so excited. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm super excited. Uh, all right. Tata Tet. Ah, another Tata Tet. All right. Please enjoy your piece. Um, oh, I think I just peeked at the, uh, you probably just saw a glimmer of the hit behind this. Uh, that's cool. I can't wait to turn it and see what it is. Uh, this matter is concluded. Sand variant. Uh, we got Gus. What the fish? Really awesome. Um, and then we have another Fist of Vengeance card. But our big hit on this pack? No way! No, 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 no. What? Okay, I knew it was a moon, but I didn't know. It's F. Murray Abraham's autograph. Holy crap. Oh my God, that's amazing. Signature third quarter card. Holy crap. I gotta, um, I gotta keep your hand steady. Keep your hand steady. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe we got Conchu's signature. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so freaking happy right now. All right, come on, come on, come on. Get it. <laughs> stay, stay, stay. They. Okay. All right. Okay. Wow. Guys, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Oh my God, this is amazing. Okay, okay. Uh, Lunar Phase 35 out of 
50, only 50 of these. Congratulations, you have received a trading card featuring the autograph of F. Murray Abraham. This autograph was signed in the presence of a representative of the Upper Deck Company or provided or, and certified as to its authenticity by F. Murray Abraham. Enjoy your authentic autograph card. Wow. Oh, my God. Look, I'll go to both cameras. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so happy. I am so happy right now. I can't believe we got an autograph. Our first box out of this little lot here. And we got Conchus. And of course, yeah, I know I want Oscar Isaacs, but I, I really would just be happy with just the cards in general. Um, but Conchu is, I love the interpretation of Conchu on the show. I think it's very accurate to the comic books. Um, and the voice is so good. Uh, and I, I cannot believe this. I'm over the moon, <laughs> pun intended. This is beautiful. Wow. Okay. I know we got to move on, but I, I thought getting the blue variant, I thought meant we weren't going to get an autograph. So to get one and it be Conchu and it be at a 50 from such a legendary actor is it's I'm blown away. Uh, I don't know if any of you have seen Amadeus. Great movie. Um, and I believe he was up for an award for that movie. Great, great performance. Um, okay. Uh, moving on somehow. <laughs> Pack 10. We have a shot of Layla there. We got the scales. Awesome. Balancing the scales. We got a sand parallel of meet my friend Jake Lockley. Uh, ooh, a chamber of the gods with, uh, with Layla. Oh, with the wings out. That's beautiful. It's concept art. Um, that's great. Oh yeah. I'm putting that one aside. I'm not going to seal it, but I'm going to put it aside because that one, those ones will probably go in the binder, like the chambers of the gods and all that, and the Travelers of the Night, I'll probably put those in a binder. But like the lunar one, the autograph, the, the blue ones, those will probably go in, in sleeves and, and get protected, that for sure. Um, and then we got Crowley, and there's another shot of Harrow there, holding the uh, um, Ishaptu, I think, Ishapti, which is the stone statues, which, hey, if you want to see, I have a stone statue of Khonshu. This is a Nushapti. Uh, this is a replica that I purchased off of Etsy. And I also got uh, Amit. I got her a Shopti in green. And I got Tadatets in bronze. So yeah, there's this really talented lady online that makes those. And I love them. And so I, any chance I had to support her business... Blue bought the first one. He bought the Conchi one, and it, I loved it. And so we were like, well, we got to get a couple more. So we got the Amit one and the Tete -tet one. So, okay. Pack 11. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting back to this. I know. We're, we're spending a lot of time on this, but it's just, it's our first box. I'm, I'm very excited. So, and we got some good stuff in it. Holy cow. So we got a shot of Layla there. We got a behind the scenes of the Cairo, which is awesome. They built a whole set for Cairo in, uh, in uh, Budapest. And there was actual Egyptian extras on the set that were, that were from Cairo. And we're like, this is amazing. It, it, I feel like I'm back in Cairo. Uh, that's how good that set was. <laughs> Where it convinced people from Cairo. <laughs> that's, that's how much detail went in that set. Um, here's, uh, you know, our, the apartment of Stephen, which is shaped like a pyramid. Uh, and that's intentional. And his bed, which has, it's almost like a sarcophagus. There's uh, a wall above it um, that kind of con contains him in a certain space. So that was all intentional, just little references to um, to the character, uh, to, to build the character um, and tie in that Egyptian uh, history to it too. And then boom, look at that concept art of, of uh, Moon Knight here. Holy cow, that's cool. So I got speechless there. It was just a good shot of him. Uh, very comic book accurate design on that one. Uh, so yeah, perfect. All right, I'm gonna put that aside. And then we got Amit and a behind the shot, scene shot of Ethan. That's great. Filming Ethan Hawke as Arthur Harrow. Awesome. All right, so we got four packs left. I don't know how. And we, we hit the peak of the pack in the middle, but that's uh, the box in the middle, but that's okay. It's, it was a beautiful hit, uh, that signature. So, all right, so Arthur Harrow, boom. A shot of, oh, of both Mark's and, uh, and Stephen's parents. Um, his dad, Elias, I believe in the comics, was the one that abused Mark. But in the show, they changed that. And I thought that was a, a, a risky move and ballsy move 
um, to do that, but um, it's effective. And the and the the lady here who plays their mother is uh, she's good. She sells it. You really hate her guts, and that's hard for an actor and actress to do is to play a part that people are gonna hate um, that you can't find forgiveness in. Um, and it's hard with that character, for what she does to her son in that show. So, um, yeah, kudos to both of them. They're they were both small parts, but nailed it and did a really really great job in their roles. Um, all right, so we have. There she is. Uh, that's Layla showing up on the dig site, and it's in sand. And then we have the Hekka priest in the Fist of Vengeance uh, line. Or, yeah. And then we got uh, Mr. Knight and, oh, there's a cool Khonshu. Nice. All right. Cool. Wrapping it up. Wrapping it up. Number 13. Pack number 13. Holy cow. Okay. So we got the Cairo set again. Ethan. I can't help but call him by his name. He's such a phenomenal actor that he I know him as so many characters, so I just default call him Ethan. Because <laughs> I I like he's just he's amazing. I'm so glad he was on this show. Uh, because he does a great job. Even even though Arthur Harrow is a completely different take on the character than he is in the comics, it, it works. I, I think it works for the the story they're telling in the show. Uh having Arthur Harrow be a, a former avatar turned cult leader. It makes sense. It's cool. Um, or makes sense, but it's cool. It's a neat thing. Uh, so yeah, there's another shot of him there. We got a fist of vengeance of the uh, the battle between uh, Kanchu and Amit, and then we have Layla when she's in the the dream, I guess, of of what Stephen and Mark are going through. Not really a dream, but just uh, something that's in their head uh, in episode five when they're dead and they're at the duat. So they're just go and they're going through their memories. Um, but there's this thing called an organizing principle that creates this asylum and it's in and it puts Arthur Harrow in as Dr. Harrow to help Moon Knight or you know Mark and Stephen uh figure out answers to the questions that they're asking internally and of each other. So all right, so there we got Amit and Kanchu again. Look at that. Some in the suit. Got a sand parallel here. I think like I said, one of these in every pack at least. Uh, another Fist of Vengeance from the final battle, Battle of the Gods. That's cool. Uh, Tatatet on the boat. Really great shot. And then Amit. Okay. Last pack. And I would say last pack magic, but I don't want to be greedy. I mean, I, we got... we got a, This was an amazing box. Holy cow, this was an amazing box. So whatever we get here, I'm just... I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'll be happy if there's six cards in this pack. Um, so yeah, there we go. We got uh, Mr. Knight. Oh, we got uh, Running from the Jackal there with Moon Knight from episode two. Great shot. Oh, this is the lovely actress who plays Tata Tet. Uh, does the voice as well and the motion capture. Really cool. And then, hey, Chamber of the Gods. This is the chase sequence with the cupcake truck. Um, and it's a sand variant, sand parallel of that too. So great. We'll put that over there. And then a shot of Ethan and Tata Tet. So amazing. Absolutely amazing. I cannot believe this. Um, Got a lot of cool inserts, but I'm only going to focus on the big ones here. Obviously, we got the autograph by F. Murray Abraham. Um, we have also the Traveler of the Night of Ethan. We have the blue variant of Summon the Suit. Uh, we have the Sand Traveler of the Night there as well. And the Level 1 Acetate Antiquities. Just these five alone is pretty amazing. But that's uh, these are also the other inserts that we got in this box. Well, not that one. <laughs> this, I think I threw the last pack over here on accident. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, technically all of these are also inserts that we got. So pretty crazy. We almost averaged like one a pack, on, almost. But to get this autograph is just amazing. I cannot believe this. I was already freaking out over the Crowley Acetate. Um, but then seeing th the blue ones we got to were amazing because the blue in the first box we opened from Steel City, it had a blue variant in it. And I was like, oh, cool. Blue's box got a blue variant in it. And then we got one in our second box, which was for me. And then in this box, we got one as well. Um, and don't worry, blue, this can go to your collection. The autograph, obviously, like if we, it's going to go here. Like this, this is our room to share where we all put our Moon Knight stuff. Um, but it's just because that's what that character has meant to us because of the portrayal and, and care they put into the DID aspects of the show. Um, they did not have to do that or go to that level 
and they could have made it more comic booky and put more action in and all that stuff. And they took the risk to portray that more empathetically. And for that reason is one of the main reasons we love the show and, and, and think that risk was worth it to us. Um, you know, other people may feel differently, but to us it was. So collectively we share our Moon Knight stuff and I can't wait to add this stuff, especially a Conchu autograph to our collection. I'm blown away. So Thank you so much for watching the show. Let me know what you think of these cards and, and the set in general down below. And don't worry, we have more boxes coming up. I have one more I'm going to open tonight, and then I'm going to let Blue open 15 packs from his box. And he's going to go just one pack at a time, and we're going to use that footage, and I'll try to talk over some of them. We're going to use those for Instagram shorts and YouTube shorts. So, uh, And then we're going to pepper those out throughout the entire month of February on both Instagram and our shorts on YouTube. So he's going to do that with one of his boxes. And then in the next episode, I'll open one of his boxes here like I did with this one. And then after that, we're saving. We got to save a couple boxes for the collabs that we were trying to do with other YouTubers. So, uh, wow. But this scratched an itch. We, you know, if we got no signatures in this box or the next box, we might have opened a third one just to try. Uh, so the fact that we got this means we can now breathe and calm down and just have fun here on out. Uh, but hopefully we still score an Oscar Isaac one. Uh, again, I don't want to sound greedy. I'm very happy with this, but that's one of the reasons we bought all these boxes for was for Oscar. So we're going to keep trying. So thank you so much. This is amazing. I'm so happy right now. And I'm going to go and, uh, and scream for like 20 minutes and come back and record the next one. So thank you so much. See you in the future. Peace.